It's been less than a month since the Ninicon district agreed to pay a nearly $8 million settlement. The money will go to several victims of a former coach who's now serving time in prison for sexual assault. As we reported last month, Ninicon homeowners will have to foot most of the bill, and tonight they made their voices heard loud and clear. News Force John Hayes just back from Grady County, where tensions were very high at a school board meeting tonight. John. Yeah, to say that they were high would be an absolute understatement. Some folks on the verge of tears, others yelling at a school board that says this was the best choice. Strike the agenda and have a question and answer. Do I second that? Yeah. 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 $7.5 million worth of chaos at this Ninaka school board meeting Monday night. We've got to have honesty and transparency. Many expressing broken trust over a school board decision to move forward with a settlement to pay out victims of former girls basketball coach Ronald Akins. It was tough. It was really tough. I lost sleep over Insurance will cover $1 million. The school will pay 500000 The rest more than likely lands on the 2,000 property owners in the Ninaka School District. Most of those property owners think this is a terrible deal. For some, it could equal as much as an extra $1,000 on their property taxes for the next three years. People that are on a fixed income mm -hmm. cannot afford this. It's not right. It's not fair. We know that. Many stressing if school board members know this isn't right or fair, why aren't other methods being considered? We will look into some other things. Uh, and see if there's any other options. A sentiment some hope can ease tensions that are clearly boiling over in this small town. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. And homeowners hope that isn't all talk, with some even calling on the board to schedule another meeting next month to update them on those options. We'll keep following it.